Today we are jumping back on Anime Odyssey because the testing is in full force now and just looking through the Discord here, the testers are going absolutely crazy. So we're going to jump on and see if we can't find any bugs today and just take a look at the overall gameplay because now the game is like actually like full on like it's a game now. It's a full on game. So we're going to jump on, test out. So before we get into this, drop a like, feel free to subscribe and without further ado, enjoy the video guys. Okay guys, welcome to anime odyssey simulator today where you guys can't really see this but um there is a bunch of testers in the server playing today the developers have been going absolutely crazy on this game recently so i may as well put my efforts in and help test the game today so i may as well show you guys while i do it so as you can see on your screen you received a gift uh redeem and enjoy the reward so let's go ahead and click on that Looks like there's an egg we're hatching right off the bat, and we got a Zoro, which is taking the L on us. But as you can see, everyone's got these cool different tags. You know, there's uh, me and Plazin over here with the content creator tags. There's testers with tester tags, owners with owner tags. It's all looking really, really awesome, really, really cool. So we managed to go ahead and get uh, a Zoro right off the bat. 35 damage over there. It's all looking nice. We're just going to be clicking on a bunch of stuff today, see if, what we can do. It's got a number one with a bone over here. Now, that is something we do need to get to and test today. Oh, I'm not looking like Zoro. The main lobby's looking nice as well. I don't think it's changed too, too much. There's a teleporter over to Peace Town over there. I don't even know what this is over here. And I've left my subscribe alerts on. You guys can see it just there. So that should tell you guys to subscribe. Maybe like a world boss might spawn here or something. But without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and teleport over to the Peace Town. And let's get started. So... In our last episode, literally, we just had pets, and that was it, and we progressed through. Now, there's, like, flags that we can place down, which automatically makes your heroes, like, attack. So, whatever enemies are in that radius, your heroes will go over and automatically attack over there. Let's start, go ahead, and click in on things over here. So, we've got our pets. That all worked. We've got all of this stuff. Music volume. Show heroes. Hybility visuals means always run definitely turn that on play flag animation yeah go for it we'll keep everything on test it all out because we are a tester anyway let's take uh, what else can we click on so far the teleport works all fine the bag we've got a backpack over here nothing in our backpack yet backpack backpack um settings we've clicked on all that shop uh, it doesn't look like anything's available in the shop yet but what is really cool i clicked on this the other day look at this guy so there's like coins conversions so once you get 1 million of these bronze bars you get a silver bar and then 1000 of the silver bars is one gold bar etc etc and it kind of like goes up quite a lot i mean look at this guys it's absolutely crazy like the conversions and yeah it tells you all of the coins conversions down here which i i think it's quite cool some of these are looking really really cool my favorite being the green and the purple ones here anyway Let's see how much this egg is going to be over here. 160 for our very first one. And as you can see, our Zoro is just over here, just taking things out very, very nicely. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of coins. And then we'll go ahead and open this piece egg a couple of times. All right. Well, we've saved up a good few coins there. And it looks like the leveling also works on our Zoro over here because it's leveled up once. Now has 55 damage. That's pretty nice. So let's come over to the piece egg and let's just open two of these. We're going to test the egg works. No, I know this egg works. There we go. We managed to get a Luffy over there, which is default dancing on us. 45%. And let's just open one more and fill up our team. So then hopefully we can start progressing quite nicely. And we got another Zoro. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So let's come over and let's quit best. And there we go. Right. So Zoro is now leveled up. Looking nice. Then we got this Zoro and we got our Luffy all taking things out even, even faster for us. Now, if we go ahead and progress through the map, there is a bunch of different enemies over here. Buggy at the end with 50k health. And then there's a timer over here. I'm pretty sure this unlocks the next world. You've got to do 10k damage in 10 seconds to unlock the next world. So uh, hopefully we can level up our guys a little bit and move over to the next world. So in the meantime, I'm going to go do some Duolingo, level up my characters. And fingers crossed, uh, we'll be able to go ahead and do 10k damage in 10 seconds. Oops. Well, um, I just accidentally completed this on a complete fluke. But there we go. We have just ran through this world quite nicely there, guys. And we managed to get a legendary, which these legendaries and epics are actually quite rare in the game. So it's quite a nice team to go ahead and get. But we did actually go ahead and just unlock the leaf region on complete accident. So let's go ahead and teleport. 
And this is where it's going to get fun. Right, second world. Let's go ahead and check things out because over here is bone structure. What on earth could bone structure be? I have no idea. There is a bunch of bones you can buy over there. And what? What? Anyway, there's bones over here that you can go ahead and buy. And I'm guessing you just go ahead and like spin stuff. I honestly, I have no idea. But look, you have an average bone. So I'm guessing it's how strong your characters are. So if we go ahead and spin, can we go ahead and buy any of these yet? No, we need to go ahead and get them dropped somehow. So we'll come back to that and check it out in just a little bit. The egg over here is two and a half thousand. Let's just go ahead and open one of these. I like the look of this egg. This is looking really, really awesome. And we got Naruto. Wait, is that the legendary? We got the legendary already. Well, that is incredibly lucky. Naruto at level one is got 64 health over there, which I think, I think, I think is pretty good. We'll level it up a bunch and figure it out. But we need to find a way to get these bones for bone structure. So let's progress through this world and let's figure out how to get some of these bones. And then fingers crossed we'll be able to uh, level them up a little bit. Because as you can see, they do have different ones. I did get one dropped with a level 2 bone structure before. So we're going to figure this out and I will catch you guys once we're about to revolve some bones or something. Well, we just took out one enemy and got two bones, which is pretty cool. So let's come over to the bone structure and let's go ahead and spin Naruto. Oh, okay. Well, I think this actually makes them stronger. We just got an average of three, and we can actually toggle lock, and you can get up to tier five. Oh, okay. Do you know what? I like this. I like this a lot. So let's try out Sanji then. So it is 146 on there. We spin. We got an average of two. We actually got three level threes on there, which is sick over there. And then it is now 179. So it does improve the power an absolute bunch. Okay, that's really, really nice. We're going to keep running through. It'd probably be worth just taking out these little enemies then, getting as many of these bones as we can. I'm going to save up a bunch, and then we're going to go ahead and roll and see what insane items we can get. All right, guys. Well, we've just been saving up a bunch of bones. We've saved up 15 bones over there. We're getting like five per drop in the end. So let's come over to Arizarato, and let's toggle lock on the head and on the left arm. And okay, oh, the more you lock, the more it costs. So if we unlock everything... It's only going to cost one. So let's just go ahead and spin. And we got four on that. So we're going to lock that. And we're going to go spin again. And again. Oh, it is costing a good amount here. And we've got a three there. We've got another three. Okay, we need something a little bit better. We've got two more rolls. And let's go one more roll on that. Ew. Okay, well, that wasn't the best. But he's at an average two once again. That's quite cool, though. The more you lock, the more it costs, which is... Yeah, it makes sense. And the most it can cost is eight over there. So it will get a little bit expensive if you guys are doing that. Oh, and clicking on this down here actually shows you what each section does. So damage one, zero percent. It's rubbish. Damage two is six percent. Uh, three is 12. Four is 18. And five is a 25 percent increase down there. So it is worth going ahead and doing this and improving your characters an absolute bunch because... Wow, that is absolutely incredible. We are now just moving over over to these Madaras over here. Looking okay. The queens are dropping slowly but surely. We haven't actually managed to improve the team that much at all there. But we're going to keep getting some bones. I'll probably save up a bunch more and catch you guys to go ahead and roll again. And the portal all the way at the back here is... I think it was said 30,000 over here to get through to the next section. 30,000 DPS in 10 seconds. We might be able to do that in just a little bit. We need to level up a bunch first. So I'll catch you guys um, soon, hopefully with a bunch of bones and a much, much, much stronger team. All right, well, let's just take out this last Madara over there. And I don't think we got any bones dropped from that one, unfortunately. Oh, no, we did. Right, we've got 54 bones there. But first, we've saved up 34,000 uh, Good. I don't even know what bars to call them. Uh, let's call them bronze bars. And we're going to auto-delete everything but rare and above just to try and improve the team. And let's turn the auto on and do uh, a decently quick time lapse of us opening because it is a little bit slow hatching. We did actually get a rare there. Nice. Okay, that might improve the team a little bit. Quick little time lapse. We only open a couple of times and see what we can get. All right, well, there we go. We've just ran out of gold bars there. And let's see what did we get. We did get a few of these Kakashis, which I, I, I think they might be better than the Robins. We're going to test it out, though. So Robin is currently level 8. Let's equip one of our Kakashis there. And uh, 
let's let's see if it'll get stronger. We're going to send him off to go ahead and level up a bunch. But in the meantime, guys, we're going to come back over and we're going to try level up uh, Naruto a little bit more. We've got 54 of these and uh, let's just go ahead and spin and let's try get a good roll on this. There's two threes. I do kind of want another level four or above if we can manage to get one. It's not looking very good here. Ouch. Ooh, that one's awful. We got a bunch of level ones. All right, let's settle with a bunch of threes when we can next get them. Uh, let's keep it cheap for now. Come on, and we need something better than this. Okay, there's another four, and there's a three over there. All right, so let's spin and try get at least a three over there. There we go. Right, our Naruto is strong now. Average of three over there. Okay, that's looking nice. Uh, let's go ahead and spin on Sanji. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this last section better than a one. We've got two spins of this. There's a two and there's a two. So now Sanji is average of two as well. And I'm not going to lie. I think that Kakashi's just leveled up a couple of times and is is quite strong actually. Level four is 142 over there. All right, let me quickly level this guy up and let's go ahead and see like how much stronger he's actually going to be. Okay, so looking at it, our Kakashi is level six and this Robin was level eight and Kakashi's just surpassed the Robin. So the next thing will be to see if Kakashi can surpass this Sanji. But in the meantime, back over to the bone structure because I'm not even going to lie, guys. I'm having an absolute blast with this bone structure. I think it's a really, really fun feature. There we go. We got a level four and we got a level three. Let's keep both of those. Let's spin. We've got another level three on that. Let's go ahead and see. We've got a couple more spins. Can we get anything good? One more spin. Okay, we've got a level three on that as well. So that Kakashi will have taken a big, big increase over there. Let's have a quick look. 265 on the damage. Okay, we're making some good progress. Let's go ahead and just have a little, little try. Just a oh, we'll take we'll take some extra bones there. Let's have a little try over here. And let's go ahead and see whether we can go ahead and do 30k. Or how close we'll be able to be doing this 30k. Because it might be a little bit tricky. But sometimes you've just got to like repeat it a couple of times before you can actually go ahead. So let's just run through this one. And then they should have built up a little bit of ultimate by time it ticks over again. And do you know what? We're actually a lot closer than what I thought we would be. Even though I've just clicked off the attack. Right. Maybe we uh, do this strategically then. So there we go. They're about to get that. Let's see if they can get two ults off in this time. Because that's probably the only way we're going to be able to do this. Three seconds. Two seconds. Okay, oh, we were so close. I'm going to have a couple of attempts at this, and I'm going to try to be a little bit strategic with this and see how close we can actually get. Okay, well, we were incredibly close. We got it down to 1,000 health, but we need just a little bit more level in there. Unless this is the one... Oh, that was so close. Anyway, that's how close we are ending up getting. So we're going to do a little bit more leveling over here, and then hopefully we should be able to take that out. That's going to be the next cut in the video anyway. All right, and there we go. I actually managed to catch that one on camera. We went ahead and completed that. We did also get another one of these legendary Naruto's, which was insane. Anyway, the next one is called the Mixed World. What even is this, like, world? What What's mixed? I, I'm not much of an uh, anime watcher, guys, so I'm sorry. Anyway, is this one of the owners over here? Yeah, Black Wolf is over here, so you guys can go ahead and see the owner tag over there. Looking really, really nice, doing a bunch of DPS, so we're going to just leave them alone for now. But it's looking really, really nice over here. Everything's looking super, super strong. And now over here, to get over to the next world, it is 75,000, which isn't too bad at all. And the final boss over here has 1.3 million, which is a good bit of health and it doesn't look like there's actually anything new i hope i haven't just missed anything over in this world but anyway guys we're gonna wrap up that video there for today let me know your opinions down below honestly i'm super super excited for this game to come out they have been cooking they're doing the testing really really nicely so uh, shout out to all the testers comment down below if you guys are a tester anyway guys have a great and wonderful rest of your day peace out